So after definition of element beam loads, let us now define pre-stressing loads. So first we'll change the units to Newton and mm. And then we'll switch over from loads, temperature oblique pre-stress. We'll go to tenant property. First we'll be defining the property of pre-stressing steel. So we'll click on that and give the name tendon. Then our tendon type is internal post tension type. Material will be tendon, which we defined earlier. And the total tendon area we'll be defining 19 T15. So 15 mm strands, number of strands will be 19. We click on OK, so this gets added. Dab diameter and give it 110 mm. Relaxation coefficient, we'll do one thing as per IC112. Low relaxing steel, so I'll be selecting low over here. And then over here, I will change the curvature factor to 0.17. And friction factor will be 2 into 10 to the power minus 6 per mm. So I'll change this to 2. Then the slip at begin and end position will be 66 mm. And tendon type is bonded. Click on OK. So this property gets added. And close this. After that, the next step is defining the pre-stress profile. So I need to click on this tendon profile, then I can click on this add. So here, first we'll give the tendon name. So the bridge is going to be constructed in three construction stages. So every construction stage has four sets of pre-stress profiles. So that makes it a total of 24 profiles in three construction stages. I'll just show you the profile. So these are the profiles, X along the length of bridge, Y in the transverse direction ordinates, and Z vertical ordinates of the profiles. So I will just copy the profile of A1L. I will just copy all these profiles from here. And then I'll go back and I'll give the tenant name A1L. The tenant property, which we just defined, I'll be selecting tenant assigned elements. I'll be selecting 11 to 61 and enter. So these elements will get selected. So this is the first stage elements that I'm selecting. And then input type, I'll switch to 3D. Then I will just click here and I'll paste the ordinates by pressing Ctrl V on the keyboard. So these ordinates are pasted from Excel sheet. Then I need to define from where, from which element my profile is starting. So I'll just zoom over this. So my profile is starting from this element. So I will just click in this window over here and click on this first element from which the profile is starting. Then I can just click on this minimize button. So this gets minimized. Then when I click on OK. So if I just show you the profile, and switch on the hidden view. So this is the profile in elevation. And if you see from the side view, so this profile is actually straight because our Y ordinates are all same. So if I just change this rotation angle with respect to the first point, if I just enter the web angle, so this profile will get rotated. So I will just enter that angle over here x angle rotation as minus 11.31 and when I click on OK, so this gets modified. Same way, I can define the next profile. I'll click on Add. I'll switch to the front view and then profile name, I will give A1R, right side profile, property, I will select tendon. Assigned elements will be 11 to 61. Profile type will be 3D. The ordinates, I will copy from Excel sheet. I will copy these ordinates and paste it back in civil. I will just click on this tab over here and then paste it. Again, I will just minimize this and I will just select. I will click here and click on the element from where the profile will be starting. And then I'll give the rotation angle as 11.31 over here. And I click on OK. So you can find this is the 
second profile. So these are the two profiles which we have inserted. So like this, you'll have to insert 24 profiles which are given over here. So all these profiles should be inserted. So I will just switch over to a model where all the profiles are inserted. So I'll just show you all the profiles here. Load, temperature, oblique, free stress, and then profile. So all these profiles are entered in the same way. So these are the 24 sets of profiles. So again, we need to define in the software the stressing sequence of the profiles. So I just close this. Now, the third step is the 10 and 3 stress, where we'll be applying the jacking stress. So load case name, I'll be selecting as free stress. Load group name, I will put as PS11. PS11 corresponds to first construction stage, first stressing. So actually, I should put A1L and A1R in the selected box. But what I'll do is, I will change the groups later on. So I will select all of them right here. In the selection box, all the profiles I'm selecting, I'm inputting the stress values at both end, so both end jacking and taking. Then I need to enter the stresses, so I'm entering 1395 MPA at both ends, around 75% of UTS. Then I will click on add, so all these profiles are now stressed. Now I'll just close this, right click on the tenant free stress goals in the tables. So over here, I will just copy these load groups, take it to the Excel sheet, and I will just change these load group names. So these are the changes which we will be making finally. So all these are the first stage profiles, four sets of profiles. All these are the second sets of profiles, starting with PS21, so PS24. And then third set of profiles are PS31 to PS34. So all these changes we will make. Then we can just copy all these profiles from here after changing their group. And just copy it and go back to like this. Over here, I can just click on this and delete all these profiles. And just I will paste back the profiles from Excel. So you can check the load groups are changed over here. Then I can right click over here and close this. So this completes the pre-stressing load assignment.